We've been talking about the periodic table and how elements are organized by the number of protons or the atomic number. We've looked at patterns going from left to right along a row or a period. And we've looked at patterns going from top to bottom along a column, which is called family or group. This video will focus on naming and writing ionic compounds. How about we start with sodium chloride? Sodium on the periodic table exists right here. Sodium has 11 protons and 11 electrons. It's neutral. The atom is neutral. When sodium combines with chlorine to form sodium chloride, one electron is lost. Sodium turns into a sodium ion. Chlorine over here has 17 protons and 17 electrons. Chlorine likes to gain an electron. Chlorine turns into chloride. When these two bond to make sodium chloride, we can write a formula, a chemical formula, that looks like this. We've actually started with two elements that convert to ions, which then join up together to form a compound, a new substance. What's important to realize when we're writing formulas is we need to understand, essentially, that we need a zero pair. We need the same number of pluses as we do negatives. And that has to do with the Bohr models we've been drawing. Metals like to lose electrons and nonmetals like to gain electrons. So they make a good pair. The electron that sodium loses, chlorine will pick up and that makes a compound. How would we form lithium oxide? Well, first we're gonna have a look at where lithium is on the periodic table. And lithium exists right there with three protons and three electrons. As an element, lithium is neutral. However, lithium is a metal and will lose electrons. Lithium becomes an ion, a positive ion. Now, oxide refers to oxygen. Oxygen exists right there with eight protons and eight electrons. Oxygen on the periodic table shows a two minus charge. In order to make lithium oxide, we'd actually need to have two lithiums to fill up the empty spots oxygen has. And so we need two ions for every one oxygen ion or oxide. Notice two negative and two plus make a zero pair. We would write the formula as lithium with a subscript two oxide. We don't mention the two in the name. We just say lithium oxide. So once again, lithium loses an electron. Oxygen gains two electrons. And in order to make sure all the spots are full, we would need two lithium ions for every one oxide. The name lithium oxide can be written as a formula Li2O. The last example we'll look at is calcium sulfide. 
How do we come up with that ionic compound? Calcium has 20 protons and 20 electrons. The atom calcium is neutral. Calcium will lose two electrons and become the calcium ion. Now sulfide is referring to sulfur, which is located right there on the periodic table. 16 protons and 16 electrons. Because sulfur is neutral as an element. But sulfur wants to gain two electrons to be more stable, like the noble gases. Sulfur becomes a two minus ion. Because if you gain two electrons, you become more negative, two negative. Together, those two ions will combine to create calcium sulfide. The name sulfur changes to sulfide. Two plus, two minus, make a zero pair. Now we don't write the formula Ca2S2 because we're only using one Ca2 plus and one S2 minus. The chemical formula then becomes just one Ca and one S. We would name that ionic compound calcium sulfide. Ionic compounds are made from metals and nonmetals, and they involve positive and negative charges. I hope that helped. I know I said that would be my last example, but can you think of a tricky example? Let's try it. Okay, here it is, beryllium nitride. First off, locate beryllium. There it is. Beryllium has four protons and four electrons. Beryllium has a two plus charge. Nitride comes from nitrogen. And where's nitrogen? Right there with seven electrons. So 10, nine, eight, seven, right here. Nitrogen has seven protons and seven electrons because it's neutral. Nitrogen becomes a three minus. Now two plus compared with three minus does not make a zero pair. How can we make a zero pair out of this? Well, how about we write a second ion to make a four plus. And how about we make a six minus with a second ion over here, a second nitride. Now here we have six minus. Is there a way to get a six plus here? Absolutely yes. One more beryllium ion. Three beryllium ions match with two nitrides. And there it is. Beryllium nitride looks like this. Not just B-E-N. We need to make sure we state that we need three beryllium ions with two nitride. And there it is. The chemical formula for beryllium nitride. Well done.